Ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Who lives in Vancouver, a magical place? Radical nonsense! But now we wear masks that cover our face. Radical nonsense! Performing our games while six feet apart. Radical nonsense! I hate singing games. Can we just start? Radical nonsense! playing Spoon River. In this game, our players are going to take turns telling parts of their story. But at the end of each story, they will tragically die. For example... Uh, once upon a time, there was an ugly team captain that was so ugly that everyone died. The end! Nailed it, Ashlyn! Let's get this started. Your scene suggestion is dance competition. Go! My name is Jimmy, and this is the day I died. So, I decided to volunteer for the local dance competition and hand out dance programs. Have a good show, because my crush is performing in the dance competition. And after the show is done, I'm going to go backstage and I'm going to talk to her. My name's Cassandra, and this is the day that I died. I grabbed my dance bag that has my beautiful embroiderment of Hannah Montana, and I flipped back my hair. I decided, mm, today's dance competition today, I'm gonna get there early, so I'm the only one in the green room, so I can have extra time to stretch, so I can show everyone that I'm such a better dancer than they are. My name's Mike, and I'm a judge here at this year competition. This is also the day I died, sadly. But I decided that today I was gonna go for any bribery that was given to me. Usually I don't, but you know, you can always have a little bit more money. This doesn't pay well. Hi, my name's Crystal, and this is the day that I died. So I'm a ballerina and I love to dance and I'm here at the dance competition and hopefully I'll win because this little boy I know, I like him a lot and he's here today and I really want to impress him. Luckily, I know just the thing to bribe my favorite judge. I bought him his favorite snack, goldfish. Hopefully he'll give me 100% on all the scores. So after I'm done handing out programs, I march my way over to my seat and I sit down and I'm getting ready to watch my crush perform. I'm looking at my own program waiting for her, but then she doesn't come on the stage. This girl that looks like she's really full of herself performs when my crush is supposed to perform. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to have to check it out. So after the show is over, I walk backstage and I see that Crystal is tied up to her chair. So, after I finished stretching, I looked around and I noticed I made a mistake. <laughs> um, this isn't for Harvard cheerleader team. This is for little kids, little tots. But now I'm all stretched and I gotta dance. That's what I do. So, I decided, hmm, this is a little kid. I turned to her and I go, hey, you see that post over there? Do you want to go over and stand by it? And because she's a little kid and she's so dumb, she does it and I tie her up and take her place on stage. As I'm dancing, I look out and I realize everybody is booing me. But how can they boo me, someone who looks so good on stage? I was really confused why everything wasn't going to schedule. But then I saw that the girl that gave me a hundred bucks was out on stage. I had to give her perfect scores. She gave me a hundred bucks. But then I saw a little goldfish next to me. Now I was remembered of my daughter. My sweet daughter. I couldn't let her lose to a hundred bucks. And I did what I had to do. I only gave her 99.9. .9. Now I know I'm gonna pay. After Jimmy saved me from the chair, what a hero. 
I realized that my own dad didn't even make me win over the thief dancer. So I got really mad and I walked up to her and I said, you know what? We're going to have a dance battle right here on stage. And whoever wins gets to live. So my crystal battles her to a dance battle. Wow, she is so perfect and so brave to stand up to that. I decide I'm going to be her little cheerleader. I grab this really heavy board and I pull it down and I write, Go Crystal! And I'm so excited to hold it up. The dance battle is about to start and I lift the board up, but I can't hold it for very long. So it falls on top of me and I crush and die. I hope my crystal knows I love her. And I turned this to this little tiny kid and I was like, fine kid, I'll let you dance. We'll have our little dance battle and I'm not going to be the one who's going to die. So we start dancing. I start doing moves I don't even know the name of because I'm so good at inventing new ones in my head. And I turn and I realize the judge that I bribed is the one hosting this competition. And she's going to not let his daughter die. So I decide to jump off the stage mid-dance battle, still dancing to give him another hundred dollars from my pocket. But then I paper cut my thumb and I start bleeding. I have to keep my thumb. That's like so important to a dancer. So I start running full dancing to the other side of the room to wrap a paper towel over it from the bathroom. But then I slip and fall because the floor was wet. I know, I'll be a, the best dancer. So much going on all at once, I don't even know what to do. I want to protect my crystal, but my I have a show to run. I have all these things to take care of. And then this little boy, a sign falls on him and it bursts in pieces. And one of the shards of wood goes and it impales me in my stomach. I drop my clipboard, I don't know what to do, but I run for my little crystal because I have to save her. Then I trip over her leg and keep falling backwards. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know at all. Then I fall into a pile of dance shoes, one of the heels impaling my other side. I'm impaled both ways. I don't think I can make it. Crystal, you should have won. And I thought I beat the lady, so I stopped dancing. But she kept dancing right on off the stage. And I look over and I see that my poor Jimmy is dead. Oh, Jimmy, I can't live without you. And I'm so sad, so I start running to go say goodbye to him. And I slip on one of the shards and I fall on my hip. But I was okay, so I stood up and I kept going over to him. But then I started to, uh, to feel really weird inside. It's like my heart stopped beating and I realized I stopped dancing first. So I lost the dance battle and now I'm gonna die.